Dear Robin, I understand that public speaking can be a challenging experience, and I want to offer some advice to help you manage your anxiety. Firstly, remember that nerves are natural. Even experienced speakers feel them. Practice deep breathing exercises before your presentation to calm your nerves. Focus on the message you want to convey rather than how you're being perceived. Break your speech into smaller, manageable sections to make it less overwhelming. Visualization can also be powerful. Picture yourself speaking confidently and imagine a positive response from the audience. Finally, don't hesitate to seek support from colleagues or, from colleagues, or consider joining a public speaking group to build your confidence over time. Remember, you're not alone in feeling this way, and with practice, it will become easier. Once, I found myself thrust into a live debate on a complex scientific topic, far outside my usual realm of expertise. Nervous and unprepared, I took a deep breath and embraced the challenge. Admitting my limited knowledge, I focused on active listening and asking thoughtful questions. Despite the discomfort, I maintained a calm demeanor and acknowledged my uncertainties. Surprisingly, the transparency fostered a collaborative atmosphere and the discussion became a shared exploration of ideas. In the end, I may not have emerged as an expert, but the experience taught me the power of humility, adaptability, adaptability, and the value of stepping beyond comfort zones to foster growth.
In the vibrant play area captured in the image, a lively scene unfolds. Sparrows gracefully sip water from a central fountain, surrounded by joyful activities. Two girls enjoy the swings, one swinging with enthusiasm, while the other aids the fun. A diligent gardener waters near plants. A young girl happily juggles blue and pink balloons. On a red elephant slider, a boy gleefully slides, while another boy flies a purple kite, captivating a girl's attention. An ice cream stall attracts a boy making a purchase. Adjacent to a pond with ducks and fishes, ducks and fishes, a boy shares food with them, accompanied by a girl and a charming white dog with black spots. The image radiates the joy of diverse outdoor activities. In the unfolding scene, the girl holding blue and pink balloons may release them into the air, adding a whimsical touch to the atmosphere. The boy, sliding on the red elephant slider, might join the girls on the swing for a collaborative play session. The boy flying the purple kite can attract more attention and others may join in, forming a mini kite fly gathering. The ice cream stall may become a focal point for the group, with more children approaching for delicious treats. The girl near the pond might interact with the ducks, creating a heartwarming moment. Overall, the vibrant setting suggests a continuation of lively interactions and shared joy among the children in the play area.
dear friend, I'm thrilled about your decision to adopt a pet, and I've come across two wonderful options that I believe would make excellent companions. After careful consideration, I strongly recommend the Golden Retriever Puppy. Unlike the African Grey Parrot, the Golden Retriever is not only friendly and great with children, but also possesses high energy levels, making it an ideal match for an active lifestyle. Regular exercise, grooming, and vet checkups are essential, but the joy and love this puppy will bring to your life are priceless. The parrot, while intelligent and sociable, demands extensive mental stimulation, a spacious cage, and significant flying time. With a lifespan of 10 to 12 years, the Golden Retriever offers companionship without the long-term commitment. I believe this choice aligns better with your current lifestyle and preferences. Dear Roger, I regret to inform you that I won't be able to attend your farewell party due to a prior commitment. On the same evening, my neighbor is celebrating their engagement, and I have already committed to being a part of this joyous occasion. I want you to know how much I appreciate the time we've spent working together, and I truly wish you all the best in your future endeavors. I will certainly miss our collaboration and camaraderie. I hope you understand my situation and please accept my sincere apologies for not being able to join you on your special day. Dear neighbor, I want to express my heartfelt apologies for not being able to attend your engagement party. Unfortunately, on the same evening, I have a prior commitment to attend my colleague's farewell party. It's a professional obligation that I cannot avoid. I truly regret missing such a joyous occasion in your life and would have loved to celebrate this, this special moment with you. Please accept my sincere apologies and know that I'll be there in spirit, extending my warmest wishes for a lifetime of happiness for you and your fiancé. Looking forward to catching up soon and hearing all about the wonderful celebration.
the existence of extraterrestrial life remains an intriguing and open question, rooted in the vastness of the universe and the potential for diverse planetary environments. The sheer number of galaxies, each containing billions of stars with their own planets, suggests the possibility of other life forms. Moreover, discovery of exoplanets within the habitable zone, where conditions might support liquid water, adds credence to the idea. Advances in astrobiology and the detection of organic molecules in space fuel optimism. However, the lack of direct evidence and the challenges of interstellar travel contribute to, on tribute to ongoing uncertainty. The quest for extraterrestrial life continues to drive scientific exploration, blending imagination with empirical inquiry in our pursuit of understanding the cosmic tapestry. Dear sister, I stumbled upon the most adorable wooden toy in a shop today and couldn't resist telling you about it. It's a small wooden bicycle with charming blue wheels. The uniqueness lies in its design, a larger front wheel, elegantly balanced by two smaller wheels on each side at the back. The front also boasts a tiny basket, adding a delightful touch. There's a single seat for a miniature rider. It exudes nostalgia and craftsmanship. I'm tempted to buy it as a keepsake. What do you think? Can I go ahead and make this whimsical purchase? Your opinion means a lot to me.